Hey, we're taking a look at Series 1 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Minimates. Obviously, it's Raphael with his red bandana and his size. I don't know a lot about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Tur uh, Turtle TV show that's on Nickelodeon, but I do have some connection to TMNT because I was born in 1990, and the show was still on TV back then, and I had a ton of TMNT stuff growing up, so thanks, Mom. Anyway, I couldn't pass up uh, the opportunity to get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to go along with the rest of my mini-mates. So I was able to find all of Series 1 from Kmart. So this guy is from Kmart. Uh, series 1 was also available at local comic book stores, and then Toys R Us had a Series 2. So this was a blind bag figure. He wasn't easy. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of success feeling out figures. So kind of just bought a bunch, then opened up the ones that I needed. Got one double of Michelangelo. I gave it to my cousin. Uh, and I did pretty well. So the only one that was easy for me to feel out was Kane. Oh, and Shredder. So I take that back. All the other turtles, you feel the chest piece. And then you try to feel for either stuff on the back or stuff on, on the sides. So in Raphael's case, he has the side holders, just like Michelangelo. So it's pretty cool. So to take a closer look at the Minimate itself, he is a real dark, maybe emerald green Minimate in the standard body with the torso cover. There, I believe this is a two-part head with this piece in between. I've read that people have taken them off. I have no interest in doing so. I don't need to swap them out or anything like that, so I'm going to keep it one piece. But I think if you want to, I don't know, have a bunch of red bandanas to recreate the classic TMNT, then you're still able to do so. So that's cool if you want to do it. Then he has a sculpted um, piece right here for the wrist. This isn't... Uh, so this piece right here is sculpted. And then the foot is sculpted with the knee piece on there. So pretty cool. And then look at the stands that they got. They're sore covers. <laughs> so that's a really nice touch. That plugs in really easy into the foot. So to take a closer look. Oh, I forgot. His hands are also sculpted too. So yeah, little wraps on there. Take a closer look at his side since I have his arm off. I think they did a really good job. That's not the same piece that came with Electra, so I think uh, new for Raphael. So pretty neat. So as far as articulation goes, still is able to do most things with his arms. Wow, that was neat. <laughs> he sheathed that himself. So we still are able to go around. Now there isn't the ability to go all the way down unless you check out this piece but it's not a big deal then his legs you got the side to side motion and then you can go up that far and back that far then his head is able to rotate and you can get a little bit of a pivot and there is this part but that fits pretty well over the shield, so it doesn't really hinder anything. And as you may have seen, his sides go really easily into a sheath. And one stays pretty snugly. Maybe I didn't have it pushed down far enough. Nope. So be careful if you hold your turtles upside down. Things can fall out of their sheath. Anyway. So, Raphael from Series 1. Thanks for watching.